Hello everyone, I'm Eugene, playing drums since 2006. Some of you who follow my work probably know that I'm a single stroke double bass player, specifically using the swivel technique for the past maybe 10 years. As everybody in this world, I too have been affected by the quarantine obviously, and I spent more than two months and two weeks away from the drum kit, not practicing at all. Recently I entered the studio to record some stuff and all of a sudden, this happened. This was 300! <laughs> As they say, something clicked somehow. This video is not only about me flexing with my new handicap double stroke technique. As you could see and hear, it is still far from being properly usable in a live situation, for example. A lot of it kind of happens randomly. I don't always have control over what I'm doing. At this point, it's still unreliable. But you have to agree for someone who has never used doubles to be able to pull off something like this is already something. I haven't been practicing doubles at all. I recall Mr. David Diepold mentioning something about having a longer break from drums and then when he got back behind the kit all of a sudden he could pull off this double stroke motion as well. Maybe I'm wrong but I'd like to believe that the exact same thing happened to me. As you could see, my singles are also in a pretty good shape after such a long break, which brings me to the main point of this video. There are lots and lots of hardworking drummers I know personally, people who could be defined as workaholics, practicing 6 to 8 hours every day. I've never practiced so much in my life, but statistics show how underrated resting is. I'll be honest with you, I didn't even miss playing drums for those two months. Taking this long break benefited me big time. Not only my old skills didn't suffer, but my body was completely refreshed and ready to take on the upcoming challenges. Quantity converted to quality, so to say. Don't be afraid of completely losing everything you've learned. If you've been working for years, you won't be able to forget all of it that easily. Take advantage of the current situation in this world and take a break. That's the main takeaway of this video. At this point I'd like to give a big shout out to Eric Marotti from Suffocation who showed me last year his approach to double strokes. Also a big thanks goes to Thomas Kremier, Krzysztof Klingbein and Mike Caputo for the tips and help. If anyone is curious, here are my settings. For this session I've been using the Roland TD6V module with foot blaster triggers. The settings are identical for both triggers. Trigger type KD8. Sensitivity 16, Threshold 8, Trigger Curve Loud 2, Crosstalk Cancel Off, Scan Time 0, Retrig Cancel 1, Mask Time 4. Attach the small piece of drumstick underneath both pedals with tape, just like Eric showed me. ACD Unlimited Beaters. My current Chachi Copeto settings didn't differ too much from what I used for my swivel technique before, maybe just a bit. Identical settings for both pedals. Beater angle 4, footboard angle 5, VDL 2 out of 4, direct drive link highest position. Beater height pretty low. Spring tension 11 out of 11, maximum. Okay, and the secret to my technique is lots of post-production editing. 